It's day two of South Korean President Moon Jae-in's four-day state visit to China. The highlight of the day, of course, a bilateral summit with Chinese President and the host Xi Jinping. Our chief Blue House correspondent Moon Gunyoung is traveling with the president. She joins us from Beijing. Gunyoung, the two leaders have concluded the talks for today, I believe. Right, Daniel. So the third bilateral summit between South Korean President Moon Jae-in and Chinese President Xi Jinping has just come to a close. To just give you a recount of the series of events of this evening. Now, the third meeting between the two leaders kicked off with an official welcome ceremony at the Great Hall of the People. And as customary with most state visits, President Moon and First Lady Kim Jong-suk were greeted with honor guards and military band and, of course, 21 gun salutes. The two leaders wasted no time. They got right down to business. Uh, facing each other for an expanded bilateral summit, which is followed by the signing of a series of memorandum of understandings for economic cooperation and other cooperations over a wide range of issues. Now, after that, they got back down to a smaller scale bilateral summit, and we are expecting a statement to come out out of that. Now, during the expanded bilateral, President Moon Jae-in touched upon a series of objectives that he had in mind. Now, first, uh, President Moon did note that, that South Korean President Moon Jae-in himself and Chinese President Xi Jinping share commonalities in a wide range of issues, including shared values of pe putting people first when running state affairs. And based on that trust and friendship between the two leaders, he says specifically, President Moon hoped that, that the two countries will be able to build a new chapter, open a new chapter in building trustworthy friendship and bilateral relationship from here on forth. Now, uh, President Moon also did note about North Korea. On North Korea, he said that uh, he hoped the Chinese President Xi Jinping and himself would be able to discuss specific measures, specific cooperative measures to deal with North Korea's nuclear issue and to bring about to a permanent, lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula. So they, he did discuss those. To that, Chinese President Xi Jinping did note that this is a critical time for the relationship for, of the, the two countries and, um, and that he hoped that the two leaders will be able to negotiate on something so that they could actually uh, move toward a brighter future. President Xi also did make note that uh, due to difficulties uh, that they are both aware of without specifically naming what it was, which of course we can induce that it's the fat issue, uh, the two countries did suffer a deterioration in relations in recently, but that they would like to move forward and would be able to negotiate out a better future for the two countries. Now, um, the, uh, it, it is customary after a joint bilateral of such kind for the two leaders to come up with a joint press or even a joint press statement. But um, they are not doing that. The two countries will separately issue press statements to the uh, media. And we'll have to wait and see why it is exactly that they have not agreed upon releasing a joint statement. Um, there was another looming factor as President Moon Jae-in and Chinese President Xi Jinping entered these talks. A, um, a two of uh, photojournalists, uh, South Korean photojournalists, traveling with a presidential uh, press corps here with us in Beijing, uh, were assaulted by Chinese security guards at an, at an event earlier today as they were trying to cover President Moon Jae-in's um, moves during the, the, the event, the trade fair event. And um, one of them are critically injured, and uh, they had they were beaten by Chinese security guards, and both of them are now hospitalized. To that end, South Korea has requested for an in-depth investigation into the issue, and we're still waiting for the results to come out. But the sentiment here amongst the media is, of course, not favorable, as this is an unfortunate incident that happened on the ground reporting along with the president uh, by the Chinese security guards. So we'll have to wait and see how that unfolds as well. Daniel?